How do guys? I am Orc from Zombie and Orc and today we are going to be discussing the Mortal Kombat 11 update, the most recent patch notifications and what's actually changed in the update. Uh, at the moment it is only available for PS4, that's why I am playing it on my PS4, but it's also available on Switch, PC and Xbox very soon. I only think it's on PS4 at the moment due to Microsoft needing to check the update first. I read something like that online. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's get right into this list. So, the uh, the first major change that I can see being in the update and patch notes, uh, the difference in coins. Coins have become far easier to achieve, because beforehand, I don't know if you guys have played the game or whatnot, I assume you do if you're watching this, but coins have been an absolute bastard to achieve. Like, there's been so many ways in achieving them, but it never felt like you were really achieving coins, souls, or hearts. So they've made changes to that, like if I read the patch notes just real quick, increased post uh, fight coin rewards, increased coin rewards for completing towers, uh, what else was that, increased coin rewards for winning rank matches, increased rewards for breakables in the crypts, the list goes on. Coins have become far easier to achieve and I think this is a good move because the game before could have been too grindy to achieve the costumes people wanted or to unlock everything in the crypt, so just make it slight. Just making it slightly more achievable is a good step in my books. Linking to this, as I showed at the very start of this video, is uh, players have also received a gift, a community gift. If you wanted to, if you've not yet claimed it, to claim it, if you go over to your community gifts on your combat card, I think it was, and as it says here, PS4 players received 500,000 coins, 1,000 souls, 1,000 time crystals, and 500 hearts. I think this is the Mortal Kombat community, NetherRealm Studios, saying sorry for making the game so so much of a grind, but at the same time, they need to be careful because it added playability. Like, I have no problem with working hard to unlock a costume because it then has that real sense of achievement. But then I can understand why they've done this because there are a lot of gamers that are much here. I I need it now kind of gamers, which I can kind of understand because it means that you're going to be unlocking everything you want and looking really cool whilst doing it. But yeah, I guess it's a good part of the update again. The next part of the update is something that I've not really experimented too much with myself yet, as it's obviously new to MK11, it's the consumables and how they work. There's no major changes here, but it says disable consumables now work with all intended modifiers, improved targeting for several consumables, they've reduced the cooldowns, and fixed incorrect armor interactions, so I just assume certain consumables had things wrong with them. Like, if I was to think of a specific one, I think there's something about Sector and his Hunter Killer Protocol modifiers. Uh, yeah, they were a little bit broken, so they just needed to fix them and patch that. Otherwise, in terms of modifiers, yeah, they're doing okay. It's something that I'll have to experiment with in the future. Apart from little online adjustments and you know little patches here and there that would genuinely need fixing in the game, I can't see any other major change but one more, which is the only character change in the whole patch that I could find, and it's Katana fans will no longer sometimes remain invisible if she's interrupted during a Edenian fade with specific timing. I will show you what that means on screen, and basically the her Edenian fade move used to make her fans go invisible and players weren't happy with that and players noticed that so I guess Neverrealm Studios just obviously patched in her fans just made them even more apparent than they were before. Again it's such a small little tweak that they've made but yeah one that was definitely necessary uh, but yeah I think it's very hard to notice anyway so yeah I think the update overall is a good one it's a first good patch it fixed what was wrong with the game and the coins is definitely a move in the right direction so we'll just have to see how it turns out and if the next update will have anything bigger for us, if any more characters will be announced, who knows what's going to happen. But yeah, thank you for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed, found it useful. If you know any more about the update, feel free to let me know in the comments, as this is only what I could find out from Ed Boon himself. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Take care guys, walk out.